Good morning, everybody. Good morning, and welcome to the channel. Welcome to a kind of strange day, actually. It's a bit of rain, as I've just set off. A bit of a, just a bit of a shower, really. I don't see my glasses there, hopefully, you can see. It's been spitting on the rain, but now it's stopped. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a bit weird today with the weather. And it's windy, very, very windy today. It's like 8 8 mile hour winds, but it's also very warm. Very, very warm, very mild. It's about 17 degrees, which for end of September is pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. So, yeah, it's going to be a strange one, I think. So, don't know how far I'm going yet. Depends on the, the wind, how far we feel. I don't know. I'm just going to play by ear. I might go around Beamish way, which will be about 50 miles if I do the whole ride. But again, I'll see how I feel, see how the weather is, see how muddy it is, see how windy it is, see how much rain I get eh? So yeah, should be fun though, should be fun. So yeah, it's uh, so warm today, I've even got my shorts on. I've got my funky, my funky red shorts on there. <laughs> I know not everybody's taste of red shorts, and not mine neither, to be honest with you. I don't normally have coloured shorts on, I usually have black ones on. Um, but Katie got me these as a gift ages ago, um, and she said that she got them for an absolute steal of a price. So, and they're only available in red. Yeah, but they're very good, mine. Really comfortable, very, very comfortable shorts. But yeah, not to everybody's taste. And like I said, I wouldn't normally wear coloured shorts. I normally wear bright coloured tops. Any any bright coloured tops. But uh, as you've probably seen in the other videos, <laughs> I don't wear some garish colours. Um, but always usually black shorts. But but yeah, these are these are good actually. Um, as I say, Katie got them for a bargain, so not complaining. Uh, and like I say, very, very comfortable, very comfortable. But today, as I say, very warm, 17 degrees, which end of September is weird, really strange. I think it's because of some storm um, coming in and it's bringing in some like warmer south winds, you know, hence why they're getting stronger winds as well. But yeah, go take the good with the bad, haven't you? Stronger winds, but warmer winds. As you all know, I've never come out on my bike without my helmet ever. Um, but I found out another benefit of it as well. The other day I was on the lines, wasn't videoing, and uh, got smacked in the head with a with a tree hanging down, a low lying tree. I didn't have a wallop, as I tell you. Whacked it right in the side of the head. Um, hit me head, and then hit me ear. I don't think you can still see it, but I, I cut my ear. I don't know if it's still showing there or not. Because I've looked in the mirror for a few days, but. I had blood all gushing down inside me and that. But at least the helmet protected my head. So I thought if I didn't have the helmet on, it would split my head up and that would have. So yeah, fairly whacked it. So yeah, another benefit of wearing a helmet. So get your helmets on. <laughs> if not just for falling off, protection from stuff whacking you in the face and your head. Well, not your face, but your head, yeah. I suppose it could stop you hitting you in the face, you know, this ridge at the front of your helmet might stop you, protect you a bit, but and it's not the first time I've been hit in the head loads of times on the lines with low lying branches and stuff. And I'll look for them and try and duck, but sometimes you just can't see them in time. So, yeah. So, yeah. A lot of, a lot of benefits of wearing a helmet there. <laughs> look at that. You wouldn't think it was windy at all, would you? <laughs> Some in the woods there, yeah. Makes a huge difference when you're protected by the trees, doesn't it? But when I get out of here, I'm nearly at Lanchester. When I get out of here, I'll be heading straight into it, straight in the wind, because it's coming from over my left shoulder, over that way. Um, so it'll be straight in my face. Great fun, great fun. As you can see, the lines are a bit dirty in places as well, muddy. It's not too bad, but there's a big, few big puddles around. A few big puddles. I tell you what I want to do on this bike, I want to sort out a, a better mud guard, especially the rear one. You can see here, hopefully I'm pointing the right place there because I can't see where I'm pointing now. But them flappy type 
Really mud guards are just useless, I think. I used to have, well I still have I should say, um, big mud guards. But I used to have them on my other mountain bike, but they won't fit on this one. And they went right the way around and covered the wheel up properly. So yeah, uh, either jury rig them on somehow, forge them on, or buy some new mud guards. Because this mud front wheel guard's good when it's not too bad and not too wet. This one here, it's not a bad mudguard that, but it still could do with being a bit longer at the bottom, I think. I don't know why they make them so short. You know, if it went further around the wheel, the bottom, i will get less dirt on us, like I'm getting on us now, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a case of style over substance, isn't it? To try to make them look nice, but yeah, it should, uh, should be bigger. Should be larger, so I think I need to look out for something more. So yeah, that's for my dick. Keep an eye on. Find a new wood guard. Better wood guards. So I'm nearly at the concert now. Just got a few miles to go till I get up to the concert. And do you know something? It's not as windy as I thought it was going to be so far. It was windy when I set off, but as you can see with the trees here, it seems to have calmed down. Couldn't say that, so I'll jinx myself. Because <laughs> it is supposed to be 18 mile now, 18 mile now winter there. And it was very windy when I set off. So, uh, whether this is the calm before the storm, I don't know. But I'll take it. Because this will be one of the windy bits. This bit here, and when we get on Chester Street, that'll be windy too. Because when I go along the top, I shove the wind behind us, which would be nice. Yeah, so I'm going to be going down to Beamish, I wasn't decided, but I feel okay. Weather's good, it's warm. No more rain, thankfully. Just had a little bit of drizzle when I set off. And uh, even the wind's dropped, so all's good. All's good for a ride down Beamish. So if anybody who hasn't seen this before, obviously the locals know about this, but anybody who hasn't seen it, this is the from the Concert Steelworks. Of course, my trusty bike as well there. But this is from the Cuts of Steel Works, which once used to be used to be up here, as you can see, on the board here. I've shown this before, but anybody who's new to the channel, used to be a big steel works up here. I can remember seeing it when I was a kid, I can remember seeing the cooling towers, all the steam coming out. And this is one of the old crucible things, isn't it? Like the old pots that they used to empty there slug out with uh, from the the furnace huge isn't it Look at the size of that you can imagine that full of molten iron yeah pretty cool so we're we'll content now we're gonna be heading up that way and then crossing over the road and heading there uh, towards unfield plain area so believe it or not this is the coast to coast this is a major national cycle route leading up to the coast. You wouldn't believe it, would you? This is going through Anfield Plains, like going through along a path, basically, where it is a path. You can see the way it crosses over the road. Well, yeah, it's uh, bizarre, because you're going up the side of houses and stuff, and I don't know, for me, I, uh, when you think of the national, like a major cycle route, like the coast to coast, you expect it to be, I don't know, a big sort of gravelly track sort of thing, like a lot of the videos. Obviously, you've got wascally weights like that. But when you go through here, and further down this way, it turns into a wider path. Like a track, but up here it's almost like a footpath. Wait, is it a footpath? <laughs> I think it's kind of weird. So at the moment I've got uh, the wind behind us, which is nice. I've also got some dark clouds behind us as well, as you can see. So hopefully it's not going to rain again. But uh, when the weather is dry, but that says nothing. I've showed you this before, but it's pretty cool. It's like a little snake sculpture. That you go around, really cool. <laughs> as long as there's not people coming the other way, it is. <laughs> How cool is this? You can see on the ground here. You see snakes around? It's pretty brilliant. Love it, love it, love it, love it. How cool is that? It's brilliant, isn't it? It's great to see them being a bit inventive, isn't it, with tracks and paths and stuff. You don't have to be boring and have a straight path. Great fun. Great fun. I can see past the trees there. 
awesome views right across the valley and right across to them rain clouds and coming in the distance as well <laughs> as long as they stay away I'll be happy but yeah good views good views I'm going to sculpture down here, how cool is that? Absolutely brilliant. I love it. It's been made from old parts from the uh, steelworks out here, yeah? old bits of boilers and things. Look at that. <laughs> cool, isn't it? Really cool. And there's the views again, with that rain on its way. Look, hopefully, it'll blow over. Fantastic views, aren't they? Got another pretty cool sculpture here. You can see that's like the nose, isn't it? There's the nose there, and there's the eye at the top. Pretty cool, I like that. And the hat on top, that's good. I like that. Very cool. I'm just uh, stopped having a banana um, before I carry on down the track here. I've done 30 miles, 30.5 miles, and I've got about another 20 to go because it's about 50 miles when I finish. But this part of the track's really good because it's just basically all downhill, like a slight gradient all the way down Chester Street. So, yeah, thought I'd have a bite to eat and uh, admire the sculpture because it's pretty cool yeah there's a few down this route very nice so yeah and the rain's staying off in the moment as well and it's still nice and warm so all good so i'm just down at chest street park i normally stop here actually for a rest but i'm not today because uh, i had a rest just short the loop though and far up the road they wouldn't have any bananas so i don't need to stop here again it was only a few miles up the road when i stopped last so Gonna crack on, carry on through here, and now we're gonna have the probably the headwind. So I'm turning around, and we're gonna get smacked right in the face with the wind. <laughs> it's still a warm wind, like it's very warm. So I've just come through Chest Street. I don't want video through there; it's just too busy. Um, and like I said, I'm in the park now. Out to the side of the park, and then up the side of the Jill Carriage where where will be. Busy and extremely noisy with cars. Not also weird tunnel to go through. It's a law, you're gonna make silly noise, go through tunnels. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm heading up the uh, side of the jewel carriageway, and as I thought, I've got the wind in my face. But I can't get pulled in because it's only temperature here, it's really hit as bad. And it's not that strong yet, but it will be at some point. Just mix it. It's harder, doesn't it, when you build up a bit of a hill? It's not a steep hill, this is about 4%, something like that. 
Well, you've got the wind in your face. <laughs> Makes it all the worse. All the more harder, I should say. You know, it just goes to show there's still some decent people in this world, isn't there? There's an uh, entrance to a shopping centre back there. Busy, busy entrance, busy junction. And every time, every time I go past it, I cross over as somebody lets us across. Every time without fail. It's good, very good. It's nice to see, nice to see. So, still going to the south of the dual carriage, as you can probably hear by all the noise. Enough far to go now. And then I'll uh, cross over and go down another busiest road. Believe it or not, you actually see people pedal up on the, on the road. I think they're nuts, absolutely nuts. And considering this, uh, the surface here is way better as well. This is the bike track, that's the road. It's a lot smoother on this side, a lot smoother. So I've come off the main road. I've come to the main road back onto the lines and this the silence is definitely compared to the, on the road there or next to the road you come down here you, you don't realise just how noisy it is on there well I didn't realise but you know what I mean you come down here and you think oh, peace peace but on the plus side the wind wasn't too bad along there I thought it was going to be really bad um, smack it in the face but it wasn't in fact all, all today I haven't had any bad wind yet, really. It's, it's on dodge there, doesn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? I haven't had any bad wind in my face, I should say. Uh, it's been okay, it's been good so far. I'm, I'm not back home yet, like. I might head back up the other side of the valley, they might smack us in the face, but so far, I seem to be avoiding the wind somehow. I don't know how I'm managing that, but I am. And kind people are twice, two roads back there. Apart from the one at the shopping centre I mentioned, two of the roads I crossed over and twice Peter lays across the road, so nice one. Nice one. Must be my funky red shorts, eh? My dirty funky red shorts. <laughs> so yeah, heading back along the lines now. And then back on the other side of the valley and back towards home. Done 41 miles so far. It's about 50 when I get back. You know if you hear any noises when your bike don't always feel the worst straight away. Earlier on back there, when I was coming through uh, Chester Street and uh, bike now, this bike started making a horrible noise grating and squeaking and creaking, I thought what on earth's going on? I thought the chain's gonna break or something <laughs> Looking down couldn't see anything wrong Anyway I had to go up this hill, so I went up this hill squeaking and the creaking got worse, got to the top and I went off and what I think it was, was uh, and never came back what I think it was, was uh, something caught I think something was caught in the uh, in the discs or even on the drill here because I've had that before on these lines I've had sticks and all sorts caught in the drill here um, but something was caught somewhere it was creaking and squeaking and it uh, obviously must have popped out could be the stone couldn't it could be a stone in the in the pad scraping on the disc anything like that but yeah they hear horrible noise it might not be broken <laughs> might not be anything terrible it could be something simple look how lovely night it still is really lovely very warm, warm wind, no rain, and very little wind actually, as I said before. Been looking with the wind, it's never your bothers at all, but nearly back now. I've done 47.8 miles at the moment, but I'm not home yet, a few miles to go. It'll be like 50, maybe 50.2 or something like that when I get back. So it's been a very good, very good ride. It's a good, good day route that is, good route. Difficult enough, but not too difficult, not too many hills. Pretty good surface most of the time. Been a very good ride, thoroughly enjoyed it. Probably the last time I do that, like as, as long as the route is that this year, I think, on the mountain bike. I will be going out obviously all as much as I can through the winter on the mountain bike, but um, I don't tend to go that far. I tend to go a bit shorter routes when it's really cold and icy and stuff. And I don't go on the road bike at all. That's when it's really cold anyway. But yeah, very good. So I enjoyed myself. And as always, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for your support as always. And I'll see you all very soon. Take care yourselves out there folks. See you later. Bye bye.